Hello guys, hey, hey. Happy morning workout with Rue. Oh, and you know, she's just so unmotivated. <laughs> Rue, come here. Come here, come here. Say hi to everybody for Saturday. Say hi. Yeah. Let's say happy Saturday to everybody. Say work out hard everybody. Kick some butt. <laughs> Good girl. Uh, Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We are having, whoa, oh, there she comes. <laughs> Extreme close up. Whoa. And now my day is complete. Any day I can make a Wayne's World joke. Best day ever. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. We are going to do a little bit of combo lifting today. So I know most of my videos, we tend to um, really, you know, grind it out. We take about 12 exercises or so and uh, really spend, you know, a good hour, if not more, working out, which I love and adore and I'm so happy to do. But I know not everybody wants to work out for a whole hour, so I wanted to give you um, some ideas of what you could do with combination workouts. So you can get a little quicker workout. Now this video still isn't going to be short. It probably will still be close to an hour. But the idea is that you can take this away. Obviously take my coaching out, my chatting out, all of that. And you can use this as a quicker workout to do at home or at the gym by combining upper body and lower body exercises at the same time. So instead of just targeting upper body for 30 minutes, whatever, and then lower body for 30 minutes or however you want to work out. If you combine the two, you can get a speedier workout and also get some cardio too at the same time. So heart rate gets high when we start using all of our limbs at once, right? So that heart rate starts lifting, we start sweating more, and no jumping jacks required, right? Woo! <laughs> so what you're gonna to need today is just your full weight selection. Now, if you have a huge gym, that doesn't mean go grab everything that you have but you just want to have a light, medium, heavy if you have it because we're going to be doing a lot of single arm stuff and some stuff pushing out in front of us, some triceps, so just all sorts of variety. So we're just going to need a variety of weights. I'm watching Rue because she's still out here with me, which she never is. <laughs> so I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's sniffing around finding her uh, toys that are packed in a bag, the old toy bag. <laughs> So guys, uh, we need the full weight selection. You also need, if you have it, a slider disc. If you don't have a slider disc, it's absolutely no sweat. Um, most of us have carpet old enough that our feet slide on carpet pretty easily. So if you're working out on carpet, you probably won't have an issue. If you do happen to be a lucky person with new carpet, just put a sock on your foot and your foot will slide on that carpet easily. Or if you're working out on tile, hardwood, whatever it is, your feet will slide around easily. So this is not required. You can get this um, effect without any equipment at all. So, and then the last thing you're gonna need is just your yoga mat, your floor support, whatever it is that makes you comfortable on the floor. We're not gonna be spending much time there, but we will be doing a little bit. So, as we've already talked about, full body combo movements, shorter, a little bit shorter exercises, where we're gonna do nine exercises instead of 12, and then we are gonna have a fun little challenge at the end. Um, sorry, she's totally distracting me. What are you doing, baby girl? She, she's trying to get into her costume bag now. She has Halloween costumes, because of course she does, and she's trying to climb into her Halloween costume bag. So she's ready for Halloween too, it's amazing. So we're gonna be doing quick work, more focus, really paying attention so we don't have to rush. We're gonna really think about the exercises, really make our body move right. We're gonna get some nice cardio, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be working in about the 12 rep range. So if you have to come in under 12, that's absolutely okay. But I didn't wanna make this crazy variance of, you know, we're gonna do 10 for this, 12 for this, eight for this. Again, we're trying to move quickly. I'm trying to give you something you can take to a gym and just kind of plow right through. And then always modify if needed. I will do my best to show you modifications. Um, but if you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I will be happy to answer them for you. And as always, play your own music. No jams here, unfortunately, though. I will say I was jamming out to some Lizzo and Lady Gaga before the workout to get me fired up. That's like my Saturday morning jam to get me ready for work. 
And uh, lastly, as always, we just ask that you share these workouts if you would please. We would love for you to share the message. When I say we, I mean me. I would love for you to share my message about fitness and uh, just to get other people moving and encourage them, especially now when people are just living in this world they're not used to. Um, we need some release for all this energy, for all this confusion, all this frustration, whatever it is that we're feeling. We need some release for that, right? And working out is a great way to do it. So please encourage others to get moving with you. And uh, lastly, if you would like to know any donations for this class, it is appreciated. It is the only payment I receive for these classes. So if you would like to and you're able, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. All right, guys. So you ready to get working? Yes. All right. So go ahead and grab. Um, let's see. We're going to do... I'll show you what we're going to do and then you'll know what kind of weight to grab. So we're going to do a static lunge with the overhead press. So we're going to do single sided. So we'll be here in our static lunge. Kind of go ahead and practice so you can find where you want your feet to be. You want your hips squared off. You want to be able to lunge to your lowest point. You're going to have a weight in this hand. So whatever is opposite of your forward leg. We're going to come down and we're going to push up at the top. So that's the weight that you're going to need. And so that can be pretty heavy, possibly, for you. And then we're going to do a goblet squat, which is a wide er, not a sumo, but a wide er squat. A little bit of toes flared out. We're going to have a weight to our chest or a kettlebell. If you have a kettlebell, I didn't even put that in the list because it is 1,000% optional. You're going to hold weight to your chest. And as you squat down, you're going to push out in front and then pull that weight in. That's going to be a light weight, guys. You're putting your shoulder in a more compromised position, so that's going to be a lightweight that you're pressing out. All right, and then we'll be talking, we're going to get moving, I'm going to get a sip of water, check our video, and then we're going to get going. My water bottle has been giving me fit. It's like if I screw the lid on one quarter of a centimeter too tight, I can't drink out of it. All right, guys. Hey, <laughs> Caroline, I see that you enjoyed some, some Rizzo. I wish I could, if I could turn the camera around easily, I would have showed you her climb up in her costumes. It was so funny. All right, guys, so we're going to do the lunge with the overhead press first. So let's grab our weight. All right, so we're going to static lunge. I'm going to start with my left forward, but you are welcome to start wherever you want. We're going to go ahead and get that static set up. So we've got a near straight front leg is our starting point. We want to make sure our hips are squared off, that we don't have a flared open hip. We're tightening our hips, that's hard. So we're going to square off. Weight is going to be right at that shoulder. Mine kind of actually sits on my shoulder just a little to the back, but not to take that weight off. It's just kind of tapping back on that shoulder. So we're going to squat down, push up. Okay? All right, let's get started. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Awesome, guys. Other side. You might already notice, especially if you're going heavier and your weight here, you might already notice your heart rate up a little bit. That's awesome, right? We've been working out like a minute. <laughs> All right, other side, set it up. Square those hips off. We drop down. We push up. You might also immediately notice if you have some imbalances, which we all do, Three. This weight already feels different on this side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Perfect. All right. My heart rate's up. I don't know about you guys. Whew. 
All right, so we've got our goblet squat. So a goblet, again, we just set up a little wider. So regular squats, like right underneath your hips. Sumo, way out here. So we meet kind of in the middle. Goblet squat, a little bit of flare out to our toes. We're gonna have our weight to our chest. And as we squat, we drop it down. Again, hips come back, we push out. Bring it back in. So some things to watch. Make sure you're not scrunched up here, especially when you start to push out. Keep those shoulders really back and down, chest open. If it feels uncomfortable, feels awkward, drop the weight down. It means your weight's too heavy. Honestly, I kind of wish I had like a seven and a half here. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do it. One, two, we're working our chest here. Three, four, five, six, remember always those hips come back, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, eleven, twelve, perfect. All right, so that way down. We're gonna catch our breath just for a second. We're gonna keep working this set pretty quickly. So just take about 30 seconds here. Catch your breath for a moment. If you need to reevaluate your weight selection at all, now's the time. Whew. So I'm out of breath. I mean, that's one round. So that's the beauty of working these combo exercises, right? Everything's moving together. So that heart rate has got to pick up. It's awesome work. All right, set this to our chest. Always like to just do one test lunge to make sure I'm sort of in my right distance. Again, hips squared off. That hip's going to want to flare. Hips squared off. Shoulders down. Core nice and engaged. Let's go. One. Two. So we're working everything in our legs here. Three. We're working quads. We're working booty. Four. We're also working shoulder. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. <laughs> All right. Other side. Again, just sort of test lunge it. See where you are. Ah, perfect. A little tip. When you get to the top of your lunge and your legs extended like this, give that quad, you can see it there, a little squeeze. Just feel a little extra quad work. Because why not? <laughs> All right, let's go. One, two, three. Four. You might notice some of my lunges are a little lower, some are a little higher. I'm just self-testing myself. My lunge range has improved recently. Eight, nine, ten, two more. So I'm just trying to kind of test it out. See what feels good, see what doesn't feel good. That's what's great, right? We have the freedom to do that with our bodies. There's no rule that we have to do everything identical every single time. <sighs> I always say we wake up in a new body every day. So you just got to test it out. See what it's up to for the day. <laughs> All right, guys. Goblet. A little bit wider stance. Toes flared out. Weight to our chest. Not sitting on it. Right in front of it. Shoulders down. Proud, proud chest. Let's come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Last one. Twelve. And the sweat has started. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink. I'm gonna go right back to it. We got one more trip through. All right. Woo. Okay. So I've so got lunge. Again. Gonna do my tester. Come up. Perfect. All right. Set that weight up. Square that hip off. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. for show. All right. Then a goblet squat. Toes. Flared out just a little bit. Give those hips a lot of room to move. Weight to our chest. Proud chest. Hips come back. Let's do it. One. Two. Keeping those shoulders down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one. Twelve. Whew. All right, guys. Now we can take a break. I hope I'm not alone. I am dripping and hoping and pumping from one set. So, if you are too, you'll see what I was talking about. How this quick, no time at all. And we've been working out, what, after me talking, probably 12 minutes. Woo! And I'm dripping, oh, panting. It's awesome work. All right, guys. I'll show you where we're going next so you can start grabbing weights that you want and then we'll get started. So what we're gonna do, I'm sorry, we'll take a break too. We'll finish our break and we'll get started. So we're gonna do a single leg deadlift with a row. So single leg deadlift, we're gonna do a kickstand style. So not your single leg deadlift here. We're gonna do kickstand. So we're gonna set one foot back. I'll break this down much more once we start moving. We're going to deadlift, weight in opposite hand, and then we're going to row at the bottom and stand. So you can probably go decently heavy with your row. And we're going to come to our back. We're going to hold bridge. And we're going to do skull crushers, which is tricep weight. So think about tricep weight, your skull crushers, some heavy back weight for deadlift and rows. Okay? All right. Let's see. So I'm going to set this guy back here for now. So I think I need at least a 20 for my row, and then I'm going to do 10 on the school pressures. Perfect. All right. I'm going to check comments, have some water, and I'll be right back.
So it's an interesting request for my live stream. I'm not sure if I'm missing a joke about Blossom. I didn't watch Blossom. It was a little old for me, slash I didn't really get it. So there's a Blossom joke I'm missing. Missing, missing. I'd love to be in on the joke. I'm not sure who that gentleman is that posted that, but thanks for the joke. <laughs> Maybe explain and then I'll get it. Ah, I love a good joke when I get them. <laughs> So before I grab the weight, I'm just gonna break down the single leg deadlift a little more. I tend to break them down to death, so I'm gonna try not to do that today. But we're going to stand up straight. Let's say we're gonna do our left leg first. We're gonna kick our right foot back as a kickstand. We're not going back into a lunge, anything like that. We should stay straight over that front leg, just kick it back. Front leg's our working leg. We're gonna put a little bit of bend, and we're gonna to aim to keep that little bit of bend in our leg. We're going to have our heavy weight, our butt sits back as we drop that weight, bend, still in the leg, we're going to row back, that's straight back, elbows scraping past our ribs, pulling through this back muscle, not through here, back muscle, but we're doing an opposite hand, and then we squeeze through this leg to stand up, still keeping a little bit of bend, we're not locked back, locking back one is not good for you, two, it lets those muscles go. It releases those muscles. By keeping that bend, you're keeping these muscles engaged. Okay? All right, I'm not gonna break it down to death. That's what we got. If you have any questions, let me know. Of course, I'll keep talking us through it. So we stand, we kick back, we bend our knee, engage that core. We're not squatting, we're setting back. Bro. Stand. Keeping that gaze out ahead. Two. Three. Four. Five. My hand placement, just my hand placement, it's totally optional. Six. How you hold your non-working hand. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Sweat's already started again. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Yeah, it is. 
Oh man. All right, we've got our skull crushers. So we're going down to the floor. Your heart rate is super high. Please just be careful. Come down slowly. If your heart rate is way too high and you don't feel comfortable coming down to the floor, just stay up tall. Do some overhead tricep extensions or some kickbacks. Or if you've already seen our rotation of exercises, just take an extra minute and then come down to the floor. It's perfectly fine. You know where we're going now. So we're going to lay back. We're going to set up our bridge here. So we've got our feet about hip width apart, close into our booty. We're going to tuck our shoulders back. Weights come up to 11s over our chest. We're going to push up into that bridge and we're going to hold it. And then we drop straight back, bending at the elbows and push forward. Two. Three, don't neglect that bridge. Four, make sure you're driving those hips up. Five, squeeze in that booty. Six, seven, eight, try to relax your neck. Nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Beautiful, lower it down, set them down, come up gently. <sighs> Okie doke. Whew. Just take a little breather real quick. <sighs> We're going to do our single leg row again. <sighs> single leg, deadlift row. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <sighs> no rest for the wicked. We got to keep it going. So, grab that heavy weight, stand up straight, kickstand it back, a little bit of bend in that leg. <sighs> Let's go, set those hips back behind you, row, stand, hips back behind you, row, stand, two, three, Make sure you're keeping your gaze forward. Four, out slightly in front of you, not staring down at your body. Five. You don't want to have your neck in a compromised position and then pulling a heavy weight. Six. Weight towards the back of that foot. Seven. Super important. Weight towards the back of that foot. Eight. If you're really sitting your hips back, it's hard for them not to be towards the back of your foot. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Woo! Last one. Twelve. Keep that bend in that knee. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I say your weight should be towards the back of your foot. Eight. I don't mean all the way to your heel. But to the back. Now, some of us, we hear, weight towards our heel so much that we actually overcompensate. 
11. And come back only onto our heels. Which is no good for us either. <laughs> All right. Booty should be talking. Hamstring should be talking. All right. Come down to the floor. I'm going to set up that bridge with our skull crushers. Lay it back. Set up feet in line with hips. Heels close to booty. Weights at 11. Set those shoulders down. Nice long neck. Push up. Squeeze. Squeeze in those cheeks like you're trying to grab a pencil. And drop back. One. Keeping that core engaged too. There's a lot going on here. Two. Three. Four. hand on my hip here because my hip tends to flare out. So I'm trying to remember as a little reminder. Seven. To keep that hip in line. Eight. Ten. 
Two more, guys. We can do it. 11. Whew. Last one. Whew. Man. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. <sighs> All right. Last one of this set. Now lay it down to our bridge. All right, feet in line with hips, hips, and heels close to one another. Rolling those shoulders in. Got our weights at 11. Nice long neck. Bridge up. Let's go. One, two, three. Core engaged. Driving through those heels. Four. Five, squeeze those butt cheeks. Six, seven, eight, nine. Where's your bridge? Is Leonard Bridge falling down? Ten, eleven, last one. Twelve. Woo! Good, good work, guys. Let's bring it up. All right. Ah, now we get a little break. Ah, take your break. Catch your breath. Whew, wipe your sweat. Oh, goodness. Ah, so I'll go ahead and tell you kind of where we're going. We are going to be doing, this is where our sliders will get involved, or the slider type movement. We're going to do a slider lunge with a high pull, and we're going to do a sumo with bicep curl. So, you will need bicep curl weight, and you're going to need a light weight for your high pull. Now, I don't necessarily mean your lightest weight, but a lighter weight probably than your bicep curl. Your bicep curl, since we're combining it with a movement, you might notice maybe your bicep curl, you can't go quite so heavy. I'm going to start with my normal and then see where we go from there, um, which is always a great tip. Unless you just know that something's happening in your body and your normal is not going to be today's normal, it's always a good idea to start with your normal and then see what happens. All right, let's keep catching our breath. I'm going to check the video, check the time, and we'll get started. Awesome. Yeah, we're doing great on time. All right, I got no further explanation on the, the Blossom comment, so if anybody else has any idea what that means, please indulge me. <laughs> oh, we're trying to do something with a headband. Did somebody wear like a headband? I'm trying to think about what they look like. Oh, well. All right, guys, so slider lunge. If you have the slider, Okay, I'll grab my other slider. <laughs> All right, so if you have the slider, we will use that. If not, again, we're just sliding our foot on a surface that will let us slide. All looks the same. So don't get started yet. I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna have our weight in our hand. We're gonna start the slider under our toe. We've got weight down in front of us. Again, shoulders back and down. When we slide our lunge out, Always remember, just like any lunge, any squat, your hips are coming back. Most of us, when we get the slider involved, we try to let our knee track forward instead of still setting our hips back behind us. So we still want those hips to come back. You will, I can't think of a single exercise that will ever tell you that you should jut forward into your knee, okay? So just always think, if I'm working my legs, Unless I'm told specifically different, hip hinge back, okay? So we've got our weight in front. We're going to slide back and drop that weight down in front of us. So there is a little bit of a rotation. So we're not here. You're going to reach that weight towards your foot. And as you slide in, you're going to rotate back open and pull up. So we come down, reach that weight towards our foot, pull in. 
So you're working your adductors here because they're pulling that weight in. You're working your core because you're twisting and rotating. Twist down, rotate open, and you're working that shoulder because you're pulling here. So see how my back and my shoulder moves? You're pulling here, through here. So it's not a pull here, it's a pull through the back of that shoulder. All right, so let's set it up. Got our weight in front of us. Hips hinge back, we slide out, weight comes towards our foot. One. You may find as you get warmed up, two, that you can slide that foot out a little further. Three. Four. Most of us are pretty tight through here. Five. So it might take a little warming up. Six. Seven. Eight. Make sure you're not dropping into that lunge to the point of no return. Nine. Ten. When I say that, I mean you can't get your leg to pull back in. Eleven. Twelve. Good. Sometimes we go out so far that our adductors aren't strong enough to pull it back in. So a lot of times our adductors are really tight. Your adductors are here because they're weak. A lot of times muscles that are chronically tight are because they're weak. So you're asking a weak muscle to do a lot of really hard work so it stays tight. So your adductor, this is a great exercise. It might feel counterintuitive because you're looking tight. Why would I want to keep working it? But chances are you need to build that strength. So this might feel really hard for you. These are a struggle for me, for sure. So you notice my lunge isn't that deep because I'm not quite, I'm still building strength to be able to pull them back in from being really far away. Okay, another Tracy Science lessons. All right, so we're standing tall, got our shoulder here, we set hips back, we reach for our toe, pull up through the back of our shoulder, one, two. Your legs also might be really tired from our other exercises, three. So that could be a reason you have a hard time pulling them back, two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whew, eleven, twelve, whew, man, I know. I started to learn I have adductor problems because of my hips being off center. But I also think it is just a weakness thing too. Whew. All right, so now we're gonna go to sumo squat with a bicep curl. So sumo is super wide. <sighs> super wide, toes out, our knees trap out, right? So that's going to look like a curl up and down as we stand. Two. Three. Keeping those elbows locked into the side. Shoulders down. Four. Make sure those knees are open and tracking out that same direction as your toes. Eight. Nine. My heart rate is through the roof. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. All right. Set those down. Woo. Yeah. Ah. Again, just the beauty. Combining upper body, lower body. That heart rate. Woo. All right. Go back to the side lunges. 
Take just a second, catch your breath. <sighs> Grab your weight. <sighs> Think about that weight selection. When you're doing that high pull, were you able to lift that weight, pulling through the back of that shoulder? Or were you only able to do it if you pulled through everything? If you pulled through everything, drop your weight. If you don't have a lower place to go with your weight, don't do a weight. Or grab something out of your kitchen, grab a can or a bottle of water, something like that, okay? <sighs> so we, this is something we never want. Never, ever, ever. All right, other side. We're gonna set up to our starting side left. Let that weight in front. Remember, hips step back. Weight is gonna reach down towards that planted foot. Let's go. One. Whoops, I looked at the pull. Ha! Two. Three. Four. Again, you might feel a little better this round. Five. Because you've stretched out those adductors a little bit. Seven. Eight. Weight towards the back of that foot. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12. Good work, guys. Other side. Woo. All right. I keep saying, woo, woo. <laughs> I think I'm mind blown. Ah. I just how much my heart rate's up and I'm sweating. Ah, but in a good way, not a scary way. All right, guys. Let's do it. One. Two. Three, four, reaching towards the opposite foot, five, pull up, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, man. I also think I've said the word man roughly 150 times already. <laughs> All right, bicep curl weight. <sighs> Set those sumos nice and wide, toes wide. Flip those weights forward, and we're curling at the bottom. Let's go. One, two, Elbows locked into those sides. Three. Knees open. Tracking over, not over the toes, the direction of the toes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Two more. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Set it down. All right. So you gotta think too. With that sumo, adding that bicep curl weight, you're not just adding a bicep curl, you're adding however much you curl to that squat too. So you're loading that squat at the bottom with that extra weight and then curling that extra weight, right? That's why your heart rate and cardio responds like that. Whew. All right, one more trip through. And then the last thing we have is our challenge that I hope you will stick around for. It won't be easy, that's why it's called a challenge, but it'll be awesome. I know my people and you can totally do it. All right, so remember, we're sliding out, hips come back, weight, reach towards that foot, and you rotate, and pull through the back of that shoulder to lift that weight. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, Five, six, keep that core engaged. 
engage. Seven. There's a lot going on here. Eight. Maybe that core to support us. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Beautiful. Other side. All right. Set it up. Wing an opposite hand. Hips come back. Reach for that toe. Rotate, pull. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One fluid movement. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Oh. All right. Sliders are done. You can get those out of your way. All we have left in this set is our sumo with a bicep curl. All right. Let's get it set up. So we're wide. Wide stance. Shoulders back and down. Knees open. Weights to the front. Elbows locked to those sides. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Those weights feeling heavy. Six. Seven. I know mine are. Eight. Nine. Almost there, guys. Ten. We got two left. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. All right. All your weights can be put out of the way. All that's left is our challenge. We've got the perfect amount of time to do it. Get your water. I'm not going to tell you the challenges just yet. Get your water. While we're bringing our heart rate down, because we are going to be going to the floor, so we want our heart rate to be down. I don't want us to be cold. I don't want that heart rate to come down to a more normal level. So we're going to take a break for just a minute. Um, so I hope you see though, obviously this workout is going to take about an hour. If you took my talking off, it would be under an hour. But that's because I've coached a lot because I knew we still had an hour to fill. But if you take this exact workout and just do it in your gym, at home, do it at Planet Fitness, any type in, whatever gym you go to, you can probably get through this workout in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes tops, and get this great sweat, this great cardio, everything. So 30, 40 minutes in the gym, you can probably knock this workout right out. So don't be go fast, don't be moving at the same pace we did. Just take it out, my explanations at the beginning, my breaks here in the middle, things like that. You can knock it out super fast. So still definitely got the point I was trying to make, um, but this is, can be super quick. I just filled the hour because I want to be able to coach you guys a little more. All right, my heart rate is simmering down. I'm going to take the video just to give us a couple extra seconds, and then I'll tell you about our challenge. Okay. So, we're going to do three rounds of one-minute planks. I know, I just felt the, like, energy go <laughs> through the phone to me. And I understand. So we're going to do minute planks. We're going to do three of them. We're going to take a break in between. So we're going to plank for a minute. 
We're going to break for about 45 seconds to a minute, and then we're going to do it again, take another break, and do it again. So here's, here's the rules. If you're like, Tracy, I can't hold a plank for a minute, one, just try. Don't tell yourself that. Change that message and say, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do everything I can to hold this plank for a minute. You can modify. You can start modify, or you can start full, drop to modify. You can go from full to modify, full to modify every five seconds, every two seconds. I don't care. What I want you to do is for a minute, keep trying. If you've got to come out of it for 10 seconds and get back in, do that. Do whatever you got to do. All I ask is that for a minute straight, you keep trying. That's all I ask, okay? You have my word. I'm not watching you, <laughs> but you give me your word that you're going to keep trying for a minute, okay? All right, so we get this set up. Hopefully this doesn't die. If not, I'll just do my best to count us out a minute. All right. All right, so we've got timer. So let's just do stopwatch, that'll be easier. All right, so get your plank set up. Remember you want your, actually I want to cut this direction. Yeah, I've got more this way. So we want our hands, shoulder width apart, energetically pushing up. We either stay in full plank here with nice flat back, or to modify, we just drop our knees straight down. This is not a modification. This is tabletop. Tabletop is only acceptable if you really are a beginner, and that's where you need to start, okay? No judgment if that's where you're at, but I don't want you to think that tabletop is a modification straight from full plank, okay? All right, so let's go in three, two, one. We're going to give it our best for one straight minute. So I'm going to set you up and want your head looking slightly out in front of you. Nice long spine. We don't want our head here. Head slightly out in front. Fingers. Starfish. Wide, wide, wide fingers. Pressing through your fingers too. Not just through the heels of your hands. We've got our shoulders back and down. Energetically pushing up through those shoulders. Not collapsing down. We've got our core flat. We've got our pelvic floor engaged like we're trying to suck something up and in. We're driving through our heels, pushing back. Everything locked into place. Most importantly, we're breathing. Even more importantly, we are five seconds away from our first minute. Three, two, one. Bring it down. How'd that feel? Did you keep trying, or did you just knock it right out of the park? Either way, if you kept trying, you knocked it out of the park, and a fly just crawled across my camera lens. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take our break. We're going to take about 25 more seconds. That'll be a 45-second rest, and then we're going to go right back to it. Shake it out. Shake out your wrists if you need to. We've got 15 more seconds. We're going to go right back into it. I'm going to talk you through it. Again, I think that talking definitely helps us be distracted. So I'm going to walk us through the form the whole time. Get ready for three, two, one. Stack it up. Give you a minute just to catch your breath, get in it, and then I'm going to coach you through again. So we want our gaze looking out forward, because I'm sure you didn't hear everything I said the first time. Gaze, looking out forward, not craned up, just looking out naturally. Hands, shoulder width apart, mine are a little wide. Fingers, wide, 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 like big starfish, and pushing through the pads of those fingers, not just the heels of your hands. Sending energy up through those hands. Core, flat, pelvic floor, up and in. Driving through the back of those heels. Everything pushing up towards the sky. So much energy, so strong. You have got this. You are under 10 seconds already. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. <sighs> Second minute. You did it. Awesome job. Just keep trying. You might notice you're having, maybe this time you had to drop to your knees. Maybe this time you had to drop to your knees a couple times. Whatever. If you're working from your knees, maybe you had to sit back in the child's pose for a second. 
Maybe you had to come to tabletop for a second. Don't care. If you have good form, you keep trying, you're doing it, okay? All right, guys, so let's take another, let's take another 20, 20 seconds or so. And we're gonna go right back into it one more time. That'll be another 45 seconds of rest. All right, don't come up into it yet, but just sort of start getting yourself ready. Get your hands where you want them. Practice those big starfish fingers. I'm gonna walk us through every step this time again, okay? So I know you're not here in every single cue. Let's push it up and go. Get set, get present. All right, so let's start with our heels this time. Our heels pushing energetically back behind us. We've got our pelvic floor up and in. Not a big tilt like this, but pulling up and in. Our upper core flat, firm. Our shoulders back and down. Our hands, our fingers are wide, wide, wide. And we are pushing through the pads, through our palms, through everything. We send energy up through our shoulders. We've got our head gazing out naturally, not down at our feet, not craned up naturally here. Everything is flat. We're pushing. We're so close, guys. Don't give up. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Yes. Yes, guys, you did it. You did it. That was a three-minute plank effort. You just did it. So proud of you for trying. Don't, and please listen to me, you did it. So if you had to drop your knees a hundred times, who cares, you did it. You were making that effort to be able to do it for three minutes straight, right? You're making the right effort. So don't judge your effort, don't count. Oh, well I had to drop my knees 12 times. Who cares, who cares? It doesn't matter, you did it. All right guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that challenge. I hope it made you feel good. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying and not sending yourself negative messages. I hope you're only feeding yourself positive because that's what you need to eat. It's positive. So thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Again, I hope the takeaway is that I can work out quickly. It doesn't have to be an hour. Tracy just makes it an hour um, because she wanted to. So thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, let me know. As always, please share this workout. Subscribe on YouTube. I would love to see my following there grow. And lastly, if you'd like to Venmo any donations for these classes, they are truly appreciated and welcomed. They're the only payment I receive for these classes. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. Thank you so much, guys. Take care of yourself. Love somebody else. Have an awesome day. Mwah.